In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Marketplace homepage. So the content you see on this homepage is basically coming from two places. You have the image slider, which is built into the one social theme, and then we have some visual composer elements. So let's start with the slider. You have a number of options actually for doing the slider. So I'll show you the easiest method is to go to Buddy Boss One Social Theme and head over to Homepage Slides and select to use the built-in One Social Sliders. And then from here, you can, you can see the slides I already have added and you can click Add Slide and you can upload an image that you want to use in the slide. You can give it a title, description, you can even add a button and a link if you want. I'll delete that and save it and the slides will display. You'll notice we tell you 1040 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall is the ideal size for the slider here, and that's true. And then you also can use a short code. If you want to use like Revolution Slider or some other third-party slider that you prefer, you can download that. Most of those sliders will give you a short code to embed the slider, and you just paste that here, and then that will output the slider of your choice. And then we also have a custom visual composer element for slider too if you want to use that. So you've got lots of options there. And then let's go into the rest of the visual composer elements. So when you buy the social marketplace product, you will get a free copy of visual composer. And so when you go to plugins, you would just want to upload and activate the visual composer download. And then um, you would go to pages and go to your home page. And once Visual Composer is enabled, you'll get all the Visual Composer editing options here. And you can also click front end editor if you want. Which will allow you to edit the site from the front end live like this. So here you can see we have the collections Visual Composer widget. If I open that, it's a custom widget that we've built. Handpick collections, you can give it a title, and you can just start typing the name of any category and add it. And it will output previews from that category. Um, and we have a bunch of different widgets like this. So let me go back to the admin for a second. And I'll click to add a new Visual Composer widget. If you click Buddy Boss, you can see these are widgets that came with the one social theme. And then you can click Marketplace as well and see custom widgets that we've built for the Marketplace plugin. So you can see we've got a widget to display collections, newest products, subscription, uh, featured sellers, etc. And there's also the WooCommerce widgets. Many of them might be useful for you. So um, this, and a lot of them have multiple styles. If we go to that subscriptions widget, that's this one here. And that is what is giving us the subscription uh, newsletter box here. And so there are two plugins that you might want to use with this. One is MailChimp for WordPress, and the other one is Newsletter. Let me just open that. This is it right here, the Newsletter plugin a very popular plugin for WordPress 200,000 installs and that's the one that we're running here. So you have lots of Visual Composer elements you can play around in here and do what you want to do. Anywhere that is displaying a category, I'm, I've explained this in a different video, but anywhere that's displaying a category, the image is going to be from the most recent product in that category unless you override it. You can go into any category in the back end and add a custom featured image and it would display that instead. 